In this video, we are going to learn how to use print function in Python and what is the use of print. Print is used to print the specified message to the screen. Message can be a string or any other object. Let's see a simple example printing message hello world. Here you can see that it printed hello. We'll say that if you want to print some other uh, message to the console, say here I am going to print the uh, name of a person Ram. So you have to specify like this Ram. Here you can see that now it will print hello world Ram. Uh, print has some other arguments that we can use in print function call. Uh, one is uh, separator. Then we have uh, end. Let's see example of e. Separate the message. Say if I want to separate uh, hello world and wrong, then I can use separator argument. Here I have to specify uh, by which I want to separate. Default value of separator is space. Here I am using hyphen. Now let's save and run. Now you can see that is uh, printing with iPhone. Now let's move into end argument. This is used to specify that I need uh, this to be printed at end of line. That means I want to print something after one. So I can uh, use this argument here. You can specify what you want to print. In this example, I want a dollar to be printed at end of the print statement. Here you can see that it printed a dollar. The default value of end argument is a new line character. That's why here you can see that it's having an empty line over there. Now let's move into file and flash. Uh, to use file and flash, we need to know uh, file commands. We use open function to read or write a file, which takes a uh, mandatory argument file name that we have to pass uh, here I am using ready for it uh, it opens the file in read mode uh, but we want in write mode so I am specifying w w means write and I am storing this into an object f uh, to write a message into the file we use f dot write Hello world. Now run the file. In your directory, you can see that hello one.txt has been created. You can see the message. It's been print, been showing as hello world. Uh, even uh, we can uh, write the message into the file using print command. Let's see that example. Use print. Uh, now let's specify the different message hello Ram. and here you have to pass argument file with a file object now save and run then successfully now open hello one.txt here you can see that it printed hello Ram. this is how we use a file argument in print function now let's move into flash Flash is, uh, flash is used to write the message directly to the file in runtime. Uh, let's see an example of it. For that, let's import time. Uh, this module provides a sleep function which is really helpful to make pass in our code. That means, say if you are if you are executing a ten line of code and you want a five second pause between the statement, then you can use this time dot slip in between the state. Let's see the example. I'll say that I'm printing starting. Uh, for this, I'm going to use the same uh, file object. Now. Let's add uh, 
time dot sleep of hundred seconds. Okay. Now before that, let's add uh, three seconds. That is enough. And now uh, run the file. There would be no change. Still, it would be a load. Uh, now let's use this uh, flush argument in print function, and let's clear this uh, content. By default, when you use write method, it will clear the content. But for our uh, example, I removed it manually. Now let's use a flush. The default value of flash is false. Let's apply to uh, now. Let's add it as uh, thousand seconds. Okay, now you can see there is no input. not thousand seconds. Let's add a uh, ten second and let's for our reference, let's add in. Add a sleeping message over there. Now uh, let's run our file. You can see now it is running, and our runtime itself hello ram has been printed because we use flash equal to. Yeah, you can see that now only it is printing starting, sleeping, then end, but it written it uh, return the content to the file uh, before this execution itself. Now let's uh, remove this argument and clear this content. Now run your file. Here you can see it started running. It didn't print anything to this file. Now let's wait for starting. Here you can see that it printed only after printing the uh, message end in the console. That means uh then we use flash then only it is uh, writing the file at runtime that means it is writing the content to the file in runtime whereas if you don't use flash it will write the content at the end of execution so yeah this is what i want to cover in this video that's it thanks for watching